they were getting pliers and they 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 pluck flesh from my thighs everywhere as you have seen the scars all over my body dermatological ulcerations that day I, I i thought that i would die, uh, was dying and that is the day i thought of denouncing my ugandan citizenship his hands too were not spared so they made me stand in front of a camera and apologize to mohozi and Museveni. They asked me to apologize and indeed I, because I had nothing to do. I was dying. They beat me using batons, eh? started beating my ankles huh? for no reason. I removed my clothes except the underwear. They beat me up until I, I could do like this and touch my blood. I could do like this and the whole blood was all over my the, the, the blindfold. I knew that I was dying. That day they beat me and I lost my consciousness. And I woke up. I think I got up. I gained it again. I, I regained my consciousness at maybe at six and found the doctor working on my wounds, injecting me. They were injecting me like six injections every six hours. There is someone who came and whispered to me and told me, Kakwenza, we thought you were going to die. You are a very strong man, you, you, you know. We thought you would die, honestly, but you're still alive. So he was like, the reason why they are doing all this medicine stuff and what they want to produce in court, the pressure outside is too much. After the shower, Kakwenza says he was interrogated while being beaten. So they beating me, asking me to uh, pull down the book from Amazon, that is uh, Banana Republic, where I narrated my torture in CMI. So the whole story was there. So they beat me with buttons, they beat me with everywhere. They then asked him who was funding him, which resulted in the worst assault. No, they started asking me about people I didn't know, or I don't know, from American Embassy, people from European Union, people from the British Council, all of them, they were asking about them, and I honestly told them that I don't know anyone. He was then taken back to the torture dance room. You know, dancing when your feet are very swollen, but you have nothing to do. You stop dancing, they beat you, so you have to dance. You collapse, they beat you. You get up, you gain consciousness. So, so the entire time I was there, I was dancing. At this point, the Western community began to intensify pressure to have Kakwenza produced in court or released, which prompted his tormentors to start treating his wounds. When the wounds healed, he was given new clothes to go to court. In just one face value, it was hard to tell Kakwenza had been tortured as his face, head and neck had not been touched. After court granted him bail via teleconferencing from Chitalia prison, Kakwenza started taking steps to his freedom. As I was walking up, to the gate, I saw a, a double cabin. So I asked my escort, Why are you taking me? I don't see my lawyer. I don't see my relatives anywhere. Uh, he was like, You. I had seen the double cabin parked at the gate as if it was waiting for me. Like six gentlemen, they emerged out of uh, maize plantation. They came running <laughs> and reached where I were and they lifted me. He was then taken to march in the military police bar. While there, a doctor came and checked on him. The doctor who did a manual examination on my body. Afterwards, I had, he stepped out. I heard him speak on phone. I don't know whom he was talking to. I was like, this man is not fine. We should not keep him here. He's not fine. I heard him say he's not fine like five times that at around 3 a.m. Kakwenza was taken to his home in Niganga and asked never to tell what he went through. We had a red car, uh, military police without number plates, even the small vehicle that was put in had no number plates. Even the one behind had no number plates. So I was driven up to my home in Niganga. We reached there at 3.30. He says his kidneys and heart have issues Thus, he needs specialized treatment. 
Torture is a form of human rights violation that should be condemned by everyone. The president has in the past warned the security forces against using torture as a means of getting information from suspects, but the forces have not yet walked the talk. Just like John Carlton says, that torture of a bad conscience is a hell of a living soul. Sudhir Yarhanga, NTV Kampala.